it's time to cook. So, welcome to Cooking with Josh in the vlog. Today I decided I wanted to make Melissa and I something new that we normally don't cook for ourselves. So we're going to make a shrimp boil with shrimp, with uh, potatoes, with corn. You'll see, come on along and I'll show you everything. So I've got this container of water, this pot full of water. Um, it's just me and her, so we're not going to, we're not gonna be feeding a lot of people, so yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I've got these assorted mini uh, potatoes. You got some purple ones, some red potatoes, some normal whatever you call it, golden potatoes. So I already did wash these. Um, I kind of left them in here and yeah, cleaned them. So whoops, let's get the potatoes thrown in here. Yeah, how, how many of you guys have actually seen purple potatoes? Next, got Zatarain crawfish, shrimp, and crab boil. We want to dump this in. Get that in there. Okay. There we go. Got a little ground pepper. I just like to add my own amount so I don't actually really um, measure it out. So let's add some Himalayan sea salt. Don't need too much. I don't have a fresh onion so I'm going to throw in some chopped onions. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks good. Let's do a little, we'll do a little bit of a uh, lemon pepper because I don't have any lemons to put in there to wedge them up so okay we got lemon pepper next Zatarain's cayenne pepper can't go wrong with that it gives it a little bit of a kick so this you know you want to put in an amount that you know will be good for you and whoever you're cooking for. Um, I can't add as much as I want, but that's fine, it'll still taste good. Now, we're gonna get this boiling. There we go. Let's leave that on a high, and we'll give this a stir. We're about 45 minutes um, boiling the potatoes with the, the bag and everything. Next, we're gonna add in some awesome corn on the cob. Normally, I'd add, add in fresh, but we figured we need to use this, so. But normally, fresh is a lot better way to go. Okay, let's have a couple more in. Okay, so now we've got these in. We're gonna get those down there. Get that back to boiling. Okay guys, the corn's done, the potatoes are done, so now it's time to take it out. So we're gonna take this, let's, we're gonna get a foil because we need to put the shrimp in there. So we're gonna foil this. I'll this get a bigger piece when, in a minute. Okay. So we'll foil that up. Right now we're gonna put these in there. Let's take this package and drop it in there. We're gonna go and let this get back to boiling and probably let it cook for about five minutes and we'll see if the shrimp is starting to turn. Yeah. Yeah, I know you guys can't see the steam, but yeah, that's gotta be done. We're turning this off. Cheers. Very good. We can pour right now. Butter nice, how much? Woo! Got the kick in it. Mm -hmm. And that's how you know it's good when you start dancing. So in conclusion, it took about 45 minutes to boil the potatoes. 
It took about 15 minutes to boil the corn, and then it took about five minutes um, to cook, I should say, cook the shrimp. Here's the final product. Let's try it out. Get some shrimp, even though they're not the shrimp we wanted, but still, they're, those are fine. Mmm, perfect. They got the right amount of spices. I'm gonna get a little bit of butter for this, but I figure I'd try it out. Oh yeah. The boil bag and all the seasoning went into it, soaked into it, just with it, like the shrimp. But the potatoes were in there for 45 minutes. So they just, they take that seasoning. Oh wow, they're amazing. It is amazing. And then the corn, what I'm gonna do, put some cayenne pepper to make it even more spicier. Maybe a little bit of garlic powder. You call it good. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me cook. I love this type of food, so I just figured why not record. So um, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the recipes and if you'd like for us to add more recipes onto our blog. So thank you for watching. Peace.